Hey, welcome back to Epic Encounters. This is a new format of video. Today we'll be diving into Stalker 2, Heart of Chornable. I'm super hyped for this game, and I hope you are too. I think I'm going to start with the hardest difficulty. I only tested the game for performance, so this will be my first full playthrough. I'm a big fan of the Stalker series, and I have a feeling we're going to die a lot on the hardest difficulty. This looks so good. By the way, I'm running this on an Asus ROG Strix Scar 18 with an RTX 4090 on epic settings. getting 80 to 100 frames per second in case anyone's interested. Last if you want, question. write in the comments and I'll make a the performance the test surrounding the zone is really enough. If a powerful emission were to occur, we would... Listen, the zone has remained stable for years. Besides, we didn't establish the most advanced institution in human history without first guaranteeing its safety. As the head of the Scientific Institute for Research of the Chernobyl area, or Circa for short, I believe the wonders that we will bring to the world far outweigh the potential risks. How big are these risks exactly? <laughs> the zone reveals a whole new world. We can stick with the old one, fearing change. But tell me, do you want our descendants to remember us as cowards? Or as those who dared to venture forward to a new, better humanity? listeners that a similar incident happened in our region quite recently, ruining homes and livelihoods. <laughs> City officials urged people to stay calm, assuring them the situation is totally under control. today. See that? It was a hell of a blast. Can't remember one. So fierce. Are we, uh, close? Eh, kind of. <laughs> the central checkpoint could be on alert after the emission, but there's another way in. Crack in the wall to the left of the fault. Bugger off! Hope you didn't lose your secret artifact along the way. If it was outside the zone for too long, it would have lost its anomalous energy. <clears throat> but I've got this shiny metal thing to recharge it. One lucky activation and we have a gold mine here. Sector 9, visual detection of the vault. I say again, Sector 9, visual detection of the vault. Show me what you found. What the hell is this? I've seen artifacts taken from the zone before. They always burn out and fall apart real fast. But this one? This one is not from the zone. Oh, I bet. Where'd you find it? In my laundry basket. Who do you think you're talking to, huh? 
You have any idea what this is gonna cost me? If it's not an artifact, it's gonna blow us all to hell! I won't let my hard work come to nothing because of you. I won't let you push it down the shit I... I, 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 I... This stone owes me a new home. We gotta move. Get to the scientist's bunker. Nehoda will explain how to proceed with the scanner. He's waiting for you. Good luck. Let's get started. My plan is to do a full playthrough and dive deep into this game. Give me a sit rat. Perimeter breached. Excessive damage caused by. Oh, fuck knows what. Copy that. Dispatching a response team. So far, the performance is really good. I saw some comments on YouTube about shuttering, but it seems to be running very smoothly. The graphics are also really impressive. At first, I was thinking about playing this game without the UI for better immersion. What do you think? This wall looks absolutely epic. I played all the Stalker games when they were released, and I really hope the developers managed to keep the classic Stalker vibe alive. The map doesn't look too small. How do I turn on the flashlight? Let me check the settings. It's either L or the middle mouse button. I know I'm going in the wrong direction, but stalker games are all about exploration. You need to check every place and corner to find the loot. All right, here's an anomaly and some loot. are really scary, just like in the old Stalker games.
This is cool. You can shoot padlocks and peek over doors. The textures are really detailed and the sound effects are amazing. We've got our first anomaly up ahead. This is cool. You get a backpack animation when browsing the inventory. I hope this doesn't end up going my way. so leaning to the right is not on the E button. Everything looks absolutely amazing. What is this? <laughs> Maybe the veteran difficulty isn't as hard as I thought. I have a feeling there's another one lurking nearby.
About two weeks ago, I tried out the Anomaly Custom, and I have to say, I really didn't like it. This looks absolutely amazing. By the way, I'm playing the Ultimate Edition pre-order version. Imagine fishing in this lake. It would be incredible. I've gotten some comments asking why I didn't like Anomaly. Well, it's because it's not really Stalker. In any game, you can crank up the difficulty, but in Anomaly, NPCs feel like bullet sponges. You can shoot them 10 times, and they still don't go down. Meanwhile, they can spot you from 600 meters away and kill you with just a few shots. It just doesn't feel balanced. On top of that, the engine is old. It's incredible what the modders have achieved with it, but everything has its time, and you can literally see it in the NPC models. Stalker has always been about exploration, capturing that grimy Eastern European atmosphere of Chernobyl. It's about scavenging, completing quests that take you deep into labs or tunnels, and literally making you fear what's around the corner because you know mutants are waiting for you. I really hope the devs stick to their signature style in this game. I knew this game was going to be on Xbox Game Pass, but I still wanted to support the developers directly. Considering everything that's happened during the game's development, I think it's important for everyone to show their support. Who knows? Maybe in the future, we'll get Stalker 3. Some of the developers chose to stay in their homes during the chaos, while others went to the front lines and sadly even lost their lives. The team behind this game is well known and honest, and they truly deserve our support. It's interesting how the game gives you a ton of loot, even on the hardest difficulty, but I like it. All Stalker games have been like this. In the end, you become an overpowered hero. I know there's going to be an online feature. On the official page, it mentions that special guns from quests in the Deluxe and Ultimate Editions can be brought into the online mode. It would be awesome if they added something like a Daisy style game mode or even a battle royale. We've got a bloodsucker up ahead. It's best to avoid it and let it take out the other people so we can collect all the loot afterward. I really don't want to go in there. I know it's lurking in there. it would be best to kill it from here. I really need to be careful because on this difficulty, it could probably kill me in just a few hits.
I need to be really careful. It'll be that easy, but I'll figure it out. I keep forgetting this game has ladders. Older Stalker games didn't have them. Okay, I'm safe for now, but the Bloodsucker is still lurking out there. The bunker is really creepy. I really hope I'm alone in this bunker. Well, what is it? Any updates? The goat is dead. So are the other scientists. Dead? Oh, God. We're screwed. Get out of there immediately. Stop freaking out. And tell me where the data is stored. Find his laptop. The coordinates should be in there. I really need to figure out how to lean to the right or left. Ah, so it's Z and C. Interesting.
the game just keeps giving out great loot. But that's always been the case with the older Stalker games. Guns looks really nice. interesting how they added British accents in a stalker game. Usually, it was in Russian, but now you also have the option to play in Ukrainian. Nice, my first artifact. Maybe the hardest difficulty isn't so easy after all. 
I need to plan better next time. I should head inside the bunker. It'll be easier to fight it there. So I'll grab the artifact now and then make a run for the bunker. Alright, now I need to trigger the bloodsucker and make a run for the bunker. So this isn't scripted, it can literally attack at any time in this area. This time, I need to prepare and do it right. Okay, so it's triggered by the artifact. Yes, that was tough. Just the first minutes of gameplay and Stalker throws everything at you. The models and textures look really good.
There was a nice animation. It seems like alcohol lowers radiation. What is this? Another anomaly? So it's like a waypoint to place this machine. What was I thinking? Sparkling electricity, and here I am standing right in the center. Got some time left. Heading for the next spot. Oh shit, bandits. dead. Not as hard as I thought, but from my perspective, it's really balanced. One hit took about 20% of my HP, and it takes around five to six shots to kill them, unless it's a headshot. It would be nice if we could sleep at campsites or at least sit down and relax.
I want to check out this building. I need to switch aiming from holding mode. Something's inside, very strange sounds. Time to plant this scanner and get out of here. some kind of poltergeist.
think I'm just wasting my resources. I'd better run from it. Okay, next waypoint. Time to try charging my artifact. premium coordinates smell like a scam. It's coordinates that always work like a job. But the ice could have thrown a wrench in the works. We'll find out soon. The eating animations are really nice too. One spot left. Did you hear me? Drop the damn scanner and come back right now! I've got nowhere to go back to, Herman. Over and out. I don't know, but I really love the atmosphere and the graphics. You literally walk, and every few hundred meters, you find something interesting, like this cemetery near the lake. I should be careful. Usually someone's trying to kill me.
seems like nobody's here. I should look around first before placing my device at the waypoint. Okay, I think I need to place my charger. Something is definitely going to happen. Literally take them out from here. Situation unclear. You inside. You to the roof. Move out. Okay, I think one is coming. So far, I'm really loving everything about this game. No 
normally, then while it resets, run like hell. Got it? Now go. I think I'm going to die here. Okay, I didn't really know, but I sure hoped you would. <laughs> How'd you get here without any gear? Long story short, bad luck. By the way, I'm looking for someone nicknamed Sodder. Know anywhere I could uh, ask around about him? If you're looking for somebody, go to Zalicia. Talk to Warlock, the local bartender. He might know something, or maybe not. It depends. Squint. Damn it, man. some scores, didn't you? Shit. The timing couldn't be any worse. The bastard shot him at point blank. Then took everything, even the sensors. Fuck. Now the entire lesser zone is gonna have to clean up this mess. Why is your ass still here? Head over to Zalicia and keep your mouth shut. Unless you want both of us killed. If you have any questions, be quick. If anyone spots you here, the whole ward will come after you. Who are you, anyway? An ordinary stalker. I used to be a guide. Took people all around the zone. Then I got lost. In every meaning of the word. So it's probably not a good idea to stick around me for long. These... Wardens... Who are they? The Ward Guard Circa, that big-ass institute at the swamps. Or so they say. In truth, they control nearly the entire zone. Duty and freedom couldn't hold a candle to the Ward. They tried to resist, but... Caution have put them in their place quick enough. He made sure they wouldn't mess with the New World Order. Anyway, stay away from the ward. And don't mention this around them, obviously. What sensors did you mention? A warden gadget. It records everything around the squad like a black box. We're lucky not every warden gets one. If it ends up in the wrong hands, or worse, in the right hands... You help everybody. Or am I somehow special? To quote my fictional dad, son, help if you can, and if you can, don't get in the way. So, don't get in the way. Or help if you will. My men at the post office need a hand. Bring them a couple of med kits. You'll do good and make some friends, maybe. This guy seems friendly, Later. and I remember seeing him in the trailers before. 
so I think we'll be seeing him often. If you're enjoying the content, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. So far, the game is really solid. It runs great, the graphics are impressive, and I haven't encountered a single bug. The water is not much buggy, which is pretty normal for Unreal Engine. Please let me know in the comments, should I continue making videos in this format, or would you prefer no commentary for better immersion? Also, should I try playing with the UI off? I don't know why, but in every game I love climbing towers. There's almost always loot up there. Do you do the same in games? I think I might lower the sharpness. It doesn't really make the game look any better.
Who's there? Should I try taking them out? Dot shows green, so maybe they're friendly. Nope, they're not friendly. I think I will gonna die again in here. Yep, I'm going to die. I don't have any bandages. Now we need to do this right. I'll attack them first and then slowly retreat. Fuck, they got attacked by some animals. <laughs> I'd better heal and come back when they finish fighting. This is what I love about Stalker. Every quest and every fight can change dramatically in seconds. So this is the end of the first part. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, if you like this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future updates. This has been Epic Encounters, and I'll see you in the next one.